What's up guys, this is Teddy. This video, we're gonna be talking about one-to-many relationships in Spring Data JPA. So one-to-many relationships are going to be the most common that you'll see. And the best way to kind of visualize this is the relationship between blogs to comments. If you have one blog, one blog can have many comments and those comments have to be tied to that specific blog, otherwise it doesn't make sense. In our case, we can review specific Pokemon and it wouldn't make sense if our review was tied to um, Pikachu when it's supposed to be tied to Squirtle. You have a one-to-many relationship in many ways, but just realize it is that there's going to be a parent, so there'll be a parent and the parent is going to be a Pokemon there will be a child, and in this case, it's going to be a review. The parent is going to have the one relationship, and the child is going to have the many relationship, and it kind of logically makes sense. There can only be one Pokemon, but there can be many reviews because people can leave many reviews. And the way that this happens is actually pretty simple when you think about it. What will happen is that we will go in, we will create these models and I'll go through the actual, how we're going to actually do it in the actual code. And once we get done, we will have a extra field that will be tied to a Pokemon. And how does it do this? Well, what's gonna happen is that an extra column is going to be added with something called a foreign key. And this foreign key will be tied to our actual primary key. So over here, it will be tied to our primary key. And let's just say we have a uh, one here and that one is a Pikachu and it has a type of electricity. And these are the three columns. And what's going to happen over here is this is going to be tied to a different record, but watch what happens. So we'll have the actual, I'm trying to see here, we'll have the title. Um, the title is going to be review test. The actual content is going to just, I'll just put some ellipses. So let's just say you left like a really awesome review. Hopefully you did, <laughs> maybe you didn't, and we'll give it five stars, but notice what happens. This actual Pokemon ID, this foreign key that we're going to have is going to be, is going to be a one, and it's going to be tied to the Pikachu. So it'll be tied to the Pikachu right here. And that way we can have many, just imagine um, you had many reviews, and as long as there is a one here, so just imagine we had many reviews, as long as there is a one, that one-to-many relationship will be solidified. So let's just go talk about briefly what's going to actually happen. Remember, there's the parent, so the parent is the Pokemon, so parent is going to be right here, and so this will be the parent, and this will be the child. And notice that the parent is always going to have the one-to-many relationship, and it's going to have the list of reviews because it's going to, after we get done, there's going to actually be, like, a, there will be a one-to-many relationship, and you'll actually be able to see it. Like, one Pokemon will have many reviews, and having this list here is what allows this to happen. And if you look over on the child, it's going to have what's called a join column, and it will be mapped. Um, to the actual Pokemon ID. And we'll have a fetch here, and I'll, I'll explain what that is, but just really realize that all that's really going on is we're adding on this, this column. It's going to be tied to the ID right here, and this is what's going to give us the one-to-many relationship. It's actually kind of really uh, elegant once you kind of think about it. It's pretty, it's pretty neat that somebody was actually able to come up with this. So First thing, we've already created our review, so let's just go ahead into here and let's actually create the review. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to, as I mentioned before, we will have a many to one. We'll have a many to one right here. And this many to one, we'll give it a fetch type of lazy. And fetch type of lazy is good because you don't want to use eager unless you don't have to, so lazy is the preferred approach. If you need eager loading, and lazy loading and eager loading, essentially, eager loading is it will automatically load the relationship for you. 
And we don't want that because we don't want each relationship to be added because why would we need it? And we have the lazy, if we need lazy loading, it essentially means load the relationship, but don't load the whole entire object with it to save memory and to save uh, database um, performance. So we're gonna go here and then the actual join column that we're going to join it with is going to be Pokemon ID. Now, if you look over here, it's just ID, but it's Pokemon ID because it needs to be able to have this entity there to match it. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna go private and we're gonna go Pokemon just like this. And that should be it on uh, for the review. Now we need to go over to the actual Pokemon and we need to also um, put up the relationship for the Pokemon as well too. So we're gonna go into here and remember, this is the parent, so we need to have the one-to-many, and the parent is what's going to have the list. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go map to buy, then we'll go Pokemon. So we'll just go Pokemon just like this, and we'll go Cascade, and we'll say Cascade um, type. So we'll go Cascade, and we'll go type. So here, and type and this will be all then we'll go and we'll add orphan removal so if we want this to delete the orphan aka the child which does not have a parent it's going to be true so it will automatically remove them so and you probably want that because if our pokemon is gone you want the review to be gone too because there would be no reason to actually keep it in the database if this actual pokemon if this Pokemon did not exist, you don't want those reviews because they would not even have a relationship to even be based off of. But sometimes that's not the case. So you do, maybe you do want the orphans to exist. Depends on the situation. Okay, so here, and then we're going to go array list. And the array list type that we're going to have is review. So go down here. So we're going to have review. Then we'll have list right here. And make sure to put a semicolon. Okay, so before I actually click the green button to make everything and actually test all this out, I am going to go into here and I'm gonna change this to stars. I, I auto, um, accidentally named this start for some reason, but it's supposed to be stars because you can leave review stars for your reviews as well too. But I'm just gonna go in here and I'm going to drop these tables and we will go in and see to make sure that when we got here, make sure to drop this one and nothing else depends on it. So when I click the green button, it will automatically go through and it should form the many to one relation or the one to many relationship. And then we can go in here to our actual database GUI and take a look to make sure that everything went through correctly. And We've got our primary keys right here. We have no errors. We've got a table created. So I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna go ahead and click refresh. And we've got two tables. So we've got our actual Pokemon, we've got our type right here. And then for our review, we now have our Pokemon ID. And as you can see, stars is fixed and the actual foreign key relationship has been made. So we are ready to so we are good to go. We can now go in and start building out the rest of our API. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed it. Click the subscribe, click the like button. As always, thank you for watching.